Hey, it's AW, and we back today, guys. And today we're going to be discussing how powerful is the Rocky Kenpachi Shikai, and why the Rocky Kenpachi Shikai is so important for power scaling within the Bleach Verse. The Rocky Kenpachi Shikai is extremely powerful. Actually, probably more powerful. He has a more powerful Shikai than most captains, due to the fact that he was already a captain level Shinigami without a Shikai and without a Bankai, which is amazing. Probably has never been a captain within the Goatee 13 like that. Zaraki Kenpachi Shikai aligns with his fighting style, which is he believes enough time he can sharpen his Ruruyuku to cut anything. Couple this with Zaraki's crazy strength, you then have a guy who in one episode alone conducted two massively crazy feats so let's dive right into it Zoraki Kenpachi's slaying of Grimmy was to be expected as Grimmy isn't even a royal guard within the Stern Riders but if we were to talk about the Stern Riders that are not a part of the royal guard he would be the strongest in the very least the second strongest but he is still possibly, you know, the most powerful Quincy we have seen so far fight within the Thousand Year Blood War Arc Part 2. While Grimmy is a lower level Quincy within the Stern Rider rankings, he still has Captain Level Ruroyuku. And he may also loosely have ties to the Soul King, which is why he is the only Quincy to be so powerful. Yet he didn't even utilize a Volstern Deke. I don't know if any of you guys noticed that. But Grimmy never utilized a Volstern Deke. He was so powerful he didn't have to. Which is actually give ties to he may have some ties to the Soul King. It hasn't been confirmed. But if you go and you look at the data books and some of the light novels. It leaned towards that. I'll get into that later on down the line. But for now we're going to stick with this. Similar to how Zaraki doesn't didn't have a Shikai or a Bankai when he joined the Goatee 13, Grimmy didn't use a Volstern Deep. Nevertheless, Zaraki's Shikai is capable of increasing his Roroyuku and attack potency to crazy levels. Zaraki's Nozarashi is extremely powerful. As we are talking about a Shinigami who originally had no Bankai with captain level spiritual pressure, and even higher Ruruyuku. Grimmy's Meteor. You know, I hear a lot of talk about Grimmy's Meteor. They try to make fun of it. You know, a lot of Naruto scalers and from and Naruto fans try to make fun of Grimmy's Meteor, saying it was small. Let me tell you guys this. One thing to note: Grimmy's Meteor was extremely more dangerous than Madara's. I don't know if you noticed, but Grimmy's Meteor was on fire. Madara's meteor was was large because we were looking at the meteor from the 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 allied shinobi's perspective. Understand when we're looking at this meteor in Bleach, when Zaraki destroyed the Grimmy's meteor, we're looking at it from Zaraki's perspective. And that I may add, when Madara brought down his meteor, his meteor was actually slower than Zaraki's. I don't know if anyone noticed that. But Grimmy's meteor, when he brought when he brought that meteor down, was faster than Madara Uchiha's meteor, and Grimmy's meteor had flames on it. So that whatever that meteor, when it was gonna drop, it was gonna burn everything, and it was gonna destroy most of the Serite. We have to keep in mind when we're discussing feats to always look at the details and always note the details. Grimmy's meteor was supposed to destroy the Soul Society, meaning Zaraki's physical strength can contend with planetary, possibly higher level threats. Mind you, we were discussing just his Shikai, no Zarashi. How would just his Shikai, is this guy able to just completely cut a meteor down? Not to mention we haven't even discussed him cutting through space. The cutting through space feat alone puts Zaraki Kenpachi's physical strength at low galaxy or low universal. As he is capable of cutting through dimensions and space itself. This is why I state 
Saitama will eventually, within the One Punch Man verse, be able to utilize his punches and punch through space as well when he is battling God. But I don't want to digress. I want to stay on Zaraki Kenpachi. Zaraki Kenpachi did this while only utilizing his Shikai. So he cut space. Grimmy put him in space. I don't but Grimmy put him in a, a space vacuum. Kenpachi nearly died. The only way he was ever going to get out of that space vacuum was by cutting it. Anyone that can cut space, I'm, I'm letting you guys know, anyone that can cut space, anyone that can manipulate space, anyone that could destroy space is an extremely powerful character. It is going to be interesting to see when Zaraki utilizes his Bankai. Because when he utilizes his Bankai, he receives a physical strength boost that compares with even godlike entities. He also receives an attack potency boost. One thing we have to be aware of as scalers is those characters that can break space or manipulate time automatically, automatically start at galaxy level or universal level and the reason being is because a character that can break tear or cut or create or manipulate space or time can fight against five dimensional beings and sometimes higher due to the power of having attack potency to cut through space to cut through dimensions it takes immeasurable, hell, imaginable amounts of energy to break a dimension or cut a dimension. And those characters that can manipulate both are extremely powerful. Zoraki Kenpachi's feats in the Thousand Year Blood War arc part 2 assures us one thing. He is obviously the most physically strongest captain of the Go T-13 and he is one of the most physically strongest characters within the Bleach verse. Zoraki Kenpachi's feat of cutting through space is so important because there are characters within the Marvel Universe and the DC Universe who have utilized nothing but physical strength and have broken dimensions. These are the, some of the top echelon of strongest characters when we're talking about physicality and physical strength. Rarely do we see in manga and anime of a character that can cut space or break space using nothing but his physical strength. If you guys can name me three characters, I will give you guys five bucks on your cash app. Three characters in manga that occurred before Zoraki Kenpachi. So it has to remember what I'm saying because a lot of people are going to say Yami. You know, from, from Black Clover, but you gotta understand that Bleach came before Yami. Name me a manga or anime that came before Bleach, before this feat was conducted, where the character broke a dimension using nothing but physical strength, or broke a dimension using, or cut a dimension. That is why this feat of Zoraki Kenpachi cutting Grimmy's space vacuum is so important to manga and anime. We also have to recognize that Zaraki Kenpachi is also one of the higher level captains, possibly as powerful as the current Captain Commander Kiyoraku. Zaraki Kenpachi's Zanpakuto fits his division's culture as his desire to be the strongest has always been prevalent. There can only be one Kenpachi per era. If a Kenpachi dies, whoever killed him takes his place as the strongest. When we dive into Zaraki Kenpachi, it can easily be deduced that even though he has no skill in Kido, very little Shunpo, or Zanjutsu for that matter, he is still the most physically gifted captain of the Goatee 13. One thing I want to leave you scalers with before I jump off of here is that yes, the battles are fast because ultimately Kubo rushed the manga. The battles are extremely fast, but we guys have to understand that they are sourcing a manga that was rushed. It's not Kubo's fault that he had to rush. To be honest with you, the fact that he's even able to get this type of material out to us and for it to look the way it does is, is astounding. I do think as we get 
to the stronger Quincy's. Essentially, you Habal's royal guard. The fights will become longer. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. This is AW and I'm out.